Welcome back to Joe's Math Tools, where we make math easy. Today we are going to be solving another two-step equation using the distributive property. So if you are ready and excited, let's get started. Okay, so we're going to begin solving our two-step equation by first applying our distributive property. And in this question, we're working with a little bit more minus sign than usual, which means that we may come across some negative numbers. But remember that this is all a part of learning and developing our skills. So because we have now been working through distributive property for quite some time, I'm going to be doing all of the working on in the actual question. So three times one will equal to three and three times u will equal to minus three u. So now that we've applied our distributive property to our parentheses, we're now going to begin collecting our like terms. And in collecting our like terms in this session, I'm actually going to do all of that within one step. Remember that I did tell you before that as you develop your skills, you should be able to collect all of your like terms within one step and instead of having to work through two or more steps in order to do that. So I'm going to begin by first keeping my 3u on the left hand side of my equation and I'm going to be moving my 2u to my 3u. And since 2u is positive, that means that when we move it to the left hand side, this will become a negative. So now we're going to look at collecting our constants. I'm keeping 27 and notice that with my 27, I also kept the minus sign in front. Remember that whenever you move a term, you always move it with the sign that's in front of it. So we don't separate our numbers from our signs. Whatever sign is there, we keep that with that same sign. So now let's look at collecting our constants. And since three is positive here, that means that we're going to minus three on the right hand side of our equation. So now that we have collected our like terms together, now let's start simplifying our equation. So three u, negative three u minus two u. Remember that with negatives, we're gonna add the numbers, which gives us five u. And we're going to keep the negative sign. Okay, so the same thing here. We have our negative 27 minus 3, and we are going to add the numbers together. So 27 plus 3 will give us 30, and then we're going to keep our negative sign. So remember, this is just one approach you could have taken for this question. Remember that if you're not strong with working with your negative numbers, you could have collected your like terms in the opposite way. And I will probably do our, just a rough working of that on the side when I'm done, just to show you that there is an alternative way that you could have worked out this question in case you were not strong with your positive number, with your negative numbers, and you wanted to avoid working with negative numbers. This is not the only approach you could have taken. Remember that sometimes you have to just canvas your question to see which method or which approach to solving that question will play to your strengths. So now let's begin applying our second step. And since 5u means that 5 is being multiplied to u, I'm going to be dividing both sides of my equation now by my negative 5. Remember, I'm not leaving that sign off because I want my u to remain positive. So I will be dividing both sides by the negative 5. So negative 5 divided into negative 5 will leave us with 1. So we now have just our u remaining. And when we divide negative 5 into 30, that will give us a positive 6. So for this equation, our u is equal to 6. Okay, so before I move into my check, I am going to show you a second approach that you could have taken to solving this equation. Remember that for some equation, there are multiple approaches that you can take. 
And for this one, luckily, there is an alternative method or an alternative approach that you could have taken to solve this equation. So I'm going to jot back down my distribution steps. And then I'm going to go to the step where we began collecting our like terms. So what I'm going to do this time around is instead of moving the 2u to the 3u, I'm going to move my 3u to the 2u. So I'm going to work a little bit different this time. So since 3u is negative here, then that means that on the right hand side of our equation, I will be adding the 3u instead of subtracting. And then I'm going to return my 3 back to my equation. And then I'm going to do the same thing with 27. Instead of moving the 3 to the 27, since 27 is being subtracted here, that means we're going to add 27 on the left-hand side of the equation. So now let's begin simplifying. So 27 plus 3 will equal to 30. 2u plus 3u will equal to 5u. And now we're going to move into our step where we divided both sides of the equation by 5. So you see that the steps are somewhat similar in this working. But the only difference is instead of working with a bunch of negative numbers, I'm now playing to my strength. And if I'm good with positive numbers, I'm now just using my positive numbers instead. And please don't be alarmed that the u is on the right hand side of the equation this time instead of on the left. Remember that whether we have u on the left or the right, we're still saying that our u is equal to 6. Okay, so you see that we got the exact same answer. The approach is a little bit different. But the steps are still somewhat similar without all of the negative signs. Okay, so now that we have pretty much checked our answer twice. Let's go on and do a further check by applying our substitution and replacing our u with 6 everywhere that it appears in our equation. And just like before, I'm going to do all of the working within the question. So 3 times 1 will equal to 3. 3 times negative 6 will equal to negative 18. 2 times 6 is equal to 12. And 12 when it minus 27 will give us a negative 15. And when 3 minus 18, again, this will also give us a negative 15. Okay, so there you have it. We got negative 15 on both sides of our equation, which means that our u equals 6 is the correct solution for our equation. So remember that when you are solving your two-step equation, try to play to your strength, what you're good at, and what works best for you. Remember that all of us are at different levels, we're working at different speed, and we're able to work through our questions differently. So play to your strength. If you need to take more than one step to solve one equation, by all means, do what you need to do that's going to help you understand and follow your steps. So if this was helpful to you, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you right here in the next video on Jules Math Tools, where we make math easy.